A day in the life of data, making every action count. This is a story about data. But what are data? A person's blood pressure or her last menstrual period? A baby's birth weight or the time of its birth? Medications a patient is given? Actually, all of these are pieces of data, and together these data reflect access to care, quality of care, and the health of the system itself. But why do we care about data? Because each piece of data represents something about a person, and every person counts. Every person matters. So how do we get data, and what happens to it? As an example, let's start with a birth. A mother is about to have a baby. The midwife, struggling to keep up with the volume of patients, does her best to fill out the birth registry, like birth weights, health, and gestational age. Later, the hospital records officer collects the data in these registries, which are then reported to the district health administrator. She looks at the data, and seeing a high volume of preterm infants, can decide to allocate more resources like medications, supplies, trainings, or nurses. She then sends the data on to the Ministry of Health, where it is combined with data from other facilities and decisions can be made, like sending more midwives to the clinic, providing more medicine and supplies, or lobbying the government to fix the road from a local facility to a district hospital. The Ministry then packages the data and sends it to the World Health Organization, where birth weights, neonatal mortality, and preterm birth rates are compared to that of other countries. And it is this set of data that is used to determine global priorities for action. The problem is that collecting all this data can be a challenge. Oftentimes there are too many babies and not enough help. And isn't it more important to care for the preterm baby than to worry about data that goes into the chart? Well, what happens when the data isn't accurately recorded? The health administrator sees only 10 preterm births when there were 25. So the district administrator sends resources for only 10 preterm births. Or worse, she moves resources from one facility to another where the data shows 30 preterm births. No one ever gets the message that the facility needs help because when the data are wrong, everything can look fine. Everyone along the way needs the best information to make the best decisions. Data make invisible people and problems visible. Good data is the foundation to a strong health system.